Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Pisces, we're going to throw them down for you for January 2022. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throw them down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello to little old me. If you're new here, I think we might vibe and stuff. I think you might want to come hang out some more. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. I have turned comments back on, so as long as people don't be jerks, I'll leave them on. And to anyone who may have turned in a jerk, I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Thanks for having my back. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It is all very much appreciated. Okay. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And if it's not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It might not have been meant for you. Pisces, we had a lot come out in the pre-shuffle. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups Reversed, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Let's see if these come back out in the spread. Hold on one second. Sorry, somebody had to throw something at me. I don't think you guys wanted to watch me fumble something on camera. Okay. Hmm. Well, could be a let slow down and take a break and somebody have inevitably walks away. We'll see if they come back out. This looks sunshine and roses. After a difficult conversation, somebody might be deciding to manifest some new things in their life. Queen of Swords reversed, Magician, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Again, we'll see if they come back out. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles came out of the clarification deck. So let's take our time, see what happens with this new spark. We'll see if any of them come back out in the spread. Okay, we're doing a golden oldie this month. Might keep bringing it back. I don't know. I just felt like changing it up for the new year. <clears throat> oh, the moon. Maybe some unanswered questions for some of you. All right, let's... Nine of Swords, a little bit of anxiety. Okay, okay. We're going to invoke the cards and get them down for you, Pisces. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good, put them in their highest possible spiritual path. All right. Okay, guys. Quick shuffle. Just so they're all good and mixed up. Ace of Swords. Hmm. It is a new star, possibly talking to somebody new, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. It's new communication. Anyway, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Justice. You see them as a fair, balanced person, possibly. They could be a Libra. What do you think of them? Ten of Pentacles. Oh, well. There's potential here. Hmm. Definitely potential for something prosperous. The big brick house with the white picket fence, the 2.5 kids, the dog, the pool out back, the nice car out front. Sitting on the porch, sipping lemonade, watching the grandkids play in the back out when you're 60. You know, if that's your gig. <sighs> actions, possible actions toward this person. Temperance. Letting it flow. Nice. What's the outcome? Five of Pentacles. Somebody being ghosted? Seriously? Bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles. 
even exchange of energy. All right, let's see what the Witch's Tarot has to say for Hierophant. Oh my gosh. I'm leaving it. I'm taking it. We're taking it. We're taking it. <laughs> it's saying take it. Could be a spiritual person. That could be the frame of mind they're currently in in regards to you. I don't know. Could just be a Taurus. What they how they feel about you. Page of Wands. They might view you as childish. Okay, could be a little bit of an age gap. I don't know. They think of you. Wheel of Fortune. Upward turn of events. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Okay. Actions, definitely communication. I don't know. Hmm, I feel like they're feeling you out. Peeking in on the social media, maybe. Check it out your Facebook, your Instagram. They're feeling you out. Outcome justice. Being fair and honest. What? Bottom of the deck, sun reversed. I turned these out into the upright, so that is super weird. I don't know, y'all. This is a mixed bag right now. What on this Ace of Swords? Ten of Swords. An old painful cycle has ended and a new cycle is beginning. Okay. What's up with justice? Five of Pentacles. What? You feel like they're hung up on somebody else. One more. So you feel like they're going to break your heart. I don't feel like the old cycle's ended for you completely. If this is someone you've already been dealing with, um, there may have been like some betrayal and backstabbing going on. Okay, why the Ten of Pentacles for what you think of them? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. They got their crap together. You think they just want to be single? There's potential, there's an opportunity. Mirroring each other a little bit at this point. Give me one more. Nine of Cups, they're ready to. Okay, what? You want to give them the cup? Why aren't you giving them the cup? All right, give me one on Temperance. Give me one on temperance. Give 
giving it one more go, trying to keep it positive, just letting it flow how it's going to flow. Exercising patience with it. But there's still three spilled cups you're staring at. There's potential in those two cups you're not going to look at. Just throwing that out there. Why the Five of Pentacles for the outcome? Two of Cups. What? Six of Cups. Yeah. Possibly a little bit of an age difference, maybe. <sighs> Take it slow. There's a change here. You might ghost out on them for a minute, or they might ghost out on you. There might be like a dead spot here, but I see togetherness and taking it slow. I feel like you just need to take your time because of this Ten of Swords up here. Like I said, this is somebody you've already been dealing with. This is a second go around. If this is somebody new, you're all suspect and stuff because of crap that's happened to you in the past. You can't carry that with you into a new connection. You realize that, right? All right, give me one on the High Priest. For the person you're dealing with. King of Cups. Poker face. Feeling it might not be showing it. One on the page of wands. Is that why you feel like you're getting ready to break up? You feel like they're hung up on somebody else because they're not like one for emotions? Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. They feel the spark. They're willing to invest. They're ready to go on this journey. They're like, let's go. Why the wheel? Why the wheel? Why the wheel? Two swords in the world. You're chewing on it. They know you're going through something painful. They know you're blocked. They know something is still closing out for you. They want a new beginning with you, but they acknowledge that you got to close something out. Their actions is the Knight of Swords. I think they're fishing. I think they're fishing. The one in this Knight of Swords. These swords, they are so anxious. Oh my gosh. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. They are fishing like no other. Don't leave your phone sitting out anywhere if there's something on it you don't want them to see. How about that? Don't leave the computer on. Don't leave mail sitting out. I'm just throwing that out there. I feel like they want this to move quick and they want answers and they'll stop at nothing to get them. Nine of Cups. They want your cup. They want to make ten cups. They do. But they're anxious. My justice. 
by justice. By justice. Lovers reversed. Oh no. The fool. Oh no. One more. They're contemplating some cups, too. Give me one to tie the outcomes together, please. Initially, they get rejected. But then the new start starts. Two of Wands. Letting go and going forward. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. <sighs> what else is here? Ten of Pentacles. Judgment. Ace of Swords. Leaving it. Leaving it. Give me Moonology. I like it, guys. There's potential here. What do you need to release? Work through your fears. Don't let pride get in your way. Holy cow, Pisces. Y'all got some messages. Wow. Okay. Ladies, so they can be read. Okay. Give me a wisdom. Wang. Number one, all right. New life at the bottom. There's just gonna be a lot of readings today. Tells me to take it, I take it. All right. Why did you fall on the floor? Oh goodness, okay. Waning moon, what do you need to release? The waning moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No, mo no matter when the moon cycle you pull, mm. no matter when the moon cycle you pull this card, it's a sign that a situation is peaked for better or for worse. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still gent be gently suggesting that you letting something go and stop trying so hard. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego? Or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. It's generally, its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card we have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done to you lately, this is the time to find balance between your own needs and the needs of the other people around you. This will help you in all your relationships. Okay. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Hmm. This card suggests rebirth. 
Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought, and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. <laughs> Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Okay. Wisdom. Read from the Wisdom Oracle, and we'll call it a day. Number one, Yang. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward highest good. So go forth with, assist with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. With 39, new life. New energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is the time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. Pisces. This is beautiful. I like it. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you. Have a safe, wonderful, happy, and healthy, and blessed 2022. Just make it a busting banger of a year, guys. Peace, love, and light. I will catch you next time.